<laughs> Three, two, one, go. So the first half of the first stage is pretty straightforward. There's really not much to do here. I just don't want to stop ever. Like most platformers where you hold right, yeah. and you just try <laughs> and jump and get through as fast as possible. The Kami has this like crazy upward swing, which has a ridiculous hitbox. It can hit below her and above her. But the important part is that it hits below her. Oh, okay. Yeah, jumping over two zombies can be pretty tricky. But there's only really uh, two parts in the game where you actually have to do it. So now I got an ice baton, which is, you know, lets me hit things from farther away, which will be important in the next screen. As there are these doors I need to hit three times in order to get through it. Yeah, and you want to keep that one as long as possible, because it can be really handy for the upcoming boss fight. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's really nice to have. Do you want to explain the uh, cart following behind me? Oh yeah, this is uh, pretty much the only gl uh, glitch in the game. Uh, you guys can probably see the cart coming in from the edge of the screen. You can actually keep that uh, on screen the whole time if you uh, don't stop ever. And it gets really spooky. And then it kind of looks like this eventually. It actually comes in pretty handy right at the final door. Because if a card hits the door, it destroys it instantly. Or I guess no you could just do that, yeah. <laughs> So this boss is uh, the ghost train, and he has a uh, random positioning throughout this room, but he can be low enough that I can hit him with an upward swing, but not low enough where he will only ever take two hits. So that's not very good. There we go. That, if he had just been in that position, I could have just stun lock killed him the whole time, but we didn't get very good luck there. Wow, the noise like showed up before the crystal. <laughs> That's a new one. Uh, we can add that to the board. Now we get to this annoying water level and there's a current that's going uh, the opposite way that I want to go, so it's a lot faster to just jump this whole time. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, this screen is actually pretty hard to optimize. I thought that frog was going to hit me. Yeah, it was really close. <laughs> that was a good section. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh, I missed that.
Yeah, just like the first stage, you want to keep your power up all the way into the boss fights. Oh, they found it. They've then had porn day anime. This is the doll boss, and what we need to do is attack um, the hands. And since I have this ice power, I can kind of hit it uh, faster than I normally would. Yeah, it lets you hit both hands in one jump, basically. This is unfortunately the oh, ah, yes. this is unfortunately the fastest way to do this. Yeah. So now this is gonna be a little bit slower since I don't have the uh, ice. We, we've tried testing with like hitting one of the hands over as uh, if you wave the hands will like try and attack you, but um, it doesn't really work out that well. Yeah, it's not really that consistent. Yeah, it's still pretty good though. So this next stage is the first auto scroller in this game. One of the two. It has really good music. Yeah, I guess it's pretty catchy. Yeah, you have to do it yourself. The jumping, that is. And the cat basically jumps automatically. Oh, yeah. That sound is so weird. Yeah, it's like really it. loud on. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, there's four different power-ups in this game, one of them being exclusive to the final stage. There's uh, fire, ice and lightning. And you will see what the fourth one does. This is her special power, we don't really use it, as you can see it lags the yeah. game pretty hard, but I'll show it off. Yeah, it can save you from some uh, sticky situations, I guess. So with this boss, I just I basically want him to either jump and have stuff fall from the floor, or I want him to throw frogs at me. All right, what a jerk! He was almost a nice guy. Yeah, at least he didn't use his scroll pad. That's yeah. really annoying. Exactly. <laughs> Can we get a couch roll call? This is Jang Bang, I'm Trinus, and this is Lung Chan. Yeah, this is another hold right to win stage. Probably the easiest one too. It also has the best music, in my opinion. 
pretty strong music, yeah. So there's little, little dandelion things here. It's actually an enemy and it can actually damage me. Why they're in the game, I don't know. And we received a eight dollars and eight cent donation from Roxanne, who says, "Hey, Lurk, good luck with your runs, you rat dude." Friendly reminder to the public that Marisa Expacholi is the one true pairing. And we've received twenty dollars from Iceplug, who says, "I woke up early to watch an anime platforming her way through ghosts and furries while wearing heels in order to make money." That's a good choice. Thank you very much, guys. Keep in mind that your donations are going to Doctors Without Borders, so you know it's all going to a good cause. Yeah, this is probably the, well, not hardest boss fight in the game, but it's pretty hard to actively keep doing damage to him. Bad dog. A pretty nice fight. It's better to kill him bound at the floor, but it's hard to say what pattern he's really gonna have, so. Alright, time for the second auto scroller. This auto scroller actually has a boss quick kill kind of. Um, if I'm able to conserve the, I guess the fire baton. Yeah. And it also has some pretty kick ass music. And exploding witches. Uh, two. Two. Just this one. This is the last one. The game's gonna have an auto scroller. It should have good music to accompany it. <laughs> well, this game's doing it right. Up for the boss here. Let's see if he gives me a good pattern. He can either spin, well, he, he's always going to spin at first, but he can either uh, throw bats at me, begin spinning again, or he'll like try and traverse the rest of the stage. Going to the, yep. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, almost. He's like two hits. Three hits? Oh, Three there hits. we go. Yeah, if I was a bit quicker, I would have got the uh, the one cycle, but it's all right. Now it's time for probably the hardest stage. Um, this has a lot of really precise upward swings to do, especially since I don't have a power up. Yeah, this really is by far the hardest stage in the game. These mud flinging construction worker ghost guys can be really annoying. Same for those rats. If you hit those smart balls, they stay stunned for a few seconds. 
Oh, nice. Nice. She can either drop me health, oh, or nice. she could <laughs> drop a whole bunch of sandbags. So it was nice that she was uh, dropping me some health. Yeah, that's the hardest part of the stage, Dan. This part's actually really easy. Taking a little slow there. Mm. Yeah, they have they have to explode first so you can get through them. So you can actually hit this guy twice per circle. You can also do that, which is yeah, kind of, it's just completely decide. RNG. So just have to hope for the best. If we're lucky, he'll only do it once. Good. Yeah, it was really good. So now he has this attack where um, he'll like throw these bubbles at me. He just did it. Oh. And it'll turn me into a little girl, and I can't attack or do anything. And this boss can actually soft lock you if he keeps doing it, because as a little girl, you can't jump high enough to avoid the blasts. And he can just keep summoning more and more of those things that blast you, but luckily that doesn't usually happen. Yeah, that was a really nice uh, stage six. So this is the final stage in the game. It's where the fourth uh, power-up comes into play. And we'll see what it does in just a second. So the level likes to switch between normal gravity and low gravity. And I want to try and time it so that, you know, I take full advantage of this, uh, of this gravity. Oh, well, okay. Can I do something, please? There we go. Okay. You can't create these platforms too close to each other. This game actually does have um, what's called ledge boosting, which is where you boost off of a ledge like this. But as far as I know, it's only a task thing because I haven't been able to really replicate it to make it really useful. Nice. That was a really good stage seven, actually. I could have fallen down and had to come all the way back up. And yeah, just get rid of that guy. Now we have to fight a furry. But first he makes us fight our, uh, I guess our teenage self. Oh, why would you do that? Nice. Okay. Next part of this fight is really easy. We just <laughs> slap this guy down and... Make me fight my high school self, show you. And yeah, now it's time for the final boss. The final boss is pretty RNG heavy, I guess. Yeah. The stage will move up and down, and what I want her to do is use this lightning attack. 
but then I can hit her with an upward strike and uh, you know just keep hitting her. But it's dependent on whether or not the stage and she decides to work out. So it's kind of two random elements coming together. Oh. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, nice. Go ahead. Nice. Hey, so good. I think that was a PB. Yeah, it should be. I gotta check. That was a really strong run. Yeah, that's it. This is just nice body with an underscore? Yeah, it should be. Okay. <laughs> that was a world record. There you go. <laughs> well, here oh, we hey. go. Yeah, can't I thought get, it was like a, one, uh, a 21 something. Can't get much better than that. <laughs> no, not really. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, both my runs went pretty well, so, yeah. All right. Came all the way to Europe to do that, so thanks, guys. Based lunch <laughs> <laughs> I'm based. I was based.